Hi everyone, my name is Mike Stensrud. I am the Business Development Manager for Old Republic here in beautiful Glendale, Arizona. I also host the monthly market update with our TAU group. Um, up, to, up to this year, what we've done is provided a script where we allowed um, agents to read the script, record it on their phone, and then send it to us and we would put the video together. Now, that, that worked great for some and other people. It was too much work and sometimes the people felt a little um, anxious about doing recordings and, and things like that. So we wanted to make it easier this year. We made our own pre-made uh, ready to ready to play videos. And so the only thing you have to do is add a, a trailer, a branded trailer to these videos. And that's why I'm doing this video just to give you some tips so you can take these pre-made videos and give it your brand and your personality. I realize that some people are very comfortable with um, with Canva and other people have never been on it before. So I'm going to try to um, to reach out and, and meet the needs of everybody. So if you see um, a section in here that you already know, you can just fast forward to a section that maybe you haven't, uh, maybe you haven't heard or maybe a tips that you haven't known about before. So even even though it looks like a little or longer video, you pick what's best for you. All right, so let's get started. The first thing is where do you find the videos now for TAU? Um, every every month we give you a code that you can then go in and uh, put in the code and then you get the script and now you can get these videos. So let's go and check that out. Okay, so this is the, the new site. Um, and I'll put this down in the um, description so you don't have to remember the website. There'll be a link here, but it's basically ArizonaAgents.com forward slash TAU videos. Okay. And when you come there, it looks just like this. And so every month will be different videos. You'll have four selections. You'll have two voices. These are AI generated voices. You'll have a female voice. You'll have a male voice. So you can choose what you want to use. And then the formats are pretty simple. We have the landscape or the long format. These are used for YouTube or Facebook posts, or uh, if you want to do short, uh, short form vertical type of videos like your phone, you can uh, use these video uh, options. So they're already pre-made. If you want to have one of, of each, you can do that as well. Now, just for the sake of training, I'm not going to do the, the whole process here, but you can just see there's a download. Click the download. It will download to your computer, and then you can save it to a folder. Remember, if you still want to, if you still want to record your own voice and create your own videos, you can do that. Now that you've done this, let's go to Canva. All right, so now we're in Canva. All right, so if you've never been here before, this has, this has loads of options. I mean, I've done over 500 different designs. The nice thing about it, it gives you pre-made templates. And so we're not gonna spend a whole time uh, doing Canva tutor. We're just gonna work on how to create a very effective, eye-catching um, trailer for these TAU videos, TAU videos. So here are some of the templates. I'm just going to show them to you right here. You've got some, it said presentation, you've got a poster, you've got a Facebook post. That's already, that's already size ready to go. Just drop in your video, Instagram. Because I work in mostly um, YouTube and Facebook platforms. That doesn't mean you have to, but the, the, the process will be the same. So I'm just going to click here, presentation 16.9. Okay, click on that. There is this upload section here click on the upload section then you'll click on upload files I won't do this because I've already done it for the purposes of this training but there are all the all the files I need for this actual um, video training and I've clicked here and I've downloaded them all this way when you start working you don't want to have to start going through your computer finding images to create the video you've got everything ready to go the first thing I want to do because I downloaded the video and here it is okay I'm gonna click on everything is left click so I'm just gonna click here one click and it goes over here welcome this is your real estate market update from there you go I'm gonna shut that off I'm gonna tell you how to manage the volume later now to fit it you can see it doesn't fit just right left click hold and drag left click hold the ends drag boom and now it's fit perfectly in there you want to go down to this duration this duration button right here and when I left click this boom 
Now it's all on a timeline. Now you can see, and again, left click this little button up here, and you can just hold and drag it all the way across. And there's the entire time frame of that video. It is one minute and 23 seconds. Okay, so that's the video we downloaded into Canva. Now, we've talked about doing this branded trailer. What is that all about? Well, the trailer is right here. We're going to add a section, an ending, and that's where you're going to appear, and that's where your branding is going to appear. So it's right here. We're going to click on this, and now we have a blank screen there, and we have to fill it with something. So here's how I'm going to do this training. I'm going to start out simple, and then I'm going to show you what it is just to put your um, a simple image, uh, some text and uh, and maybe a logo and that'll be it the next level will then take video and we'll show you how you can add video to your branded trailer and then the last thing will be uh, we will add your own audio and we'll add music and we'll put it all together to really spice things up so let's start out simple and easy so I here's the blank space I'm gonna go to my images here and so here's mine. Here's the image of myself. I know I want to have that in there, so I'm going to put that over here. And to move images, it's so easy. Just grab the corner. You can move it up and down. Just hold the left click down. If you want to move it, hold it down and just move it anywhere you want. I'm just going to throw it here. I don't know what I'm going to make. This is real stuff. <laughs> this is real creativity on the go. Um, I work in Sun City West, so I think I want to have something with a picture up there. I want to entice people. This this video, remember, is going to go out to my database. It may be going to people anywhere in the Midwest, and I want them to see what they're missing here. So I'm just going to pull this up like something like this. Okay. Now, in this case, I also want people to know where, where this is taken. So I have already done this, and you will too once. Maybe you do it right now, or you will. I have a fo folder, a bunch of logos that I've used over time. That way I don't have to hunt and peck for them. I know I got this really nice Sun City one. So I'm going to take this Sun City, and all I'm doing is left-clicking, and it just automatically throws it here. Look at how easy that is. I can move it around, and I'll make it short, and I'm going to put it in the back right here against that blue sky. Okay? And we got built that. There's a picture of me. I'm holding down that left mouse, and I just put in the middle, and... Sometimes I have to click off of it and then go back and click and I can move it. And I'm just going to move it right here. And I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time in this. We're not going to make something picture perfect, but I want you to see how you work within this platform. Okay, I need a name. Text is what I want. There it is, text. I'm going to left click on text and I've got three choices. I usually just use the, the little right here. And I put it, it shows, I just left click, it comes up in the middle there. I just type in my name and we'll do that very easy. And I just click over here and then I just go over and then just drag it down here. And I let go of the mouse. Boop. There you go. And I probably have a phone number. So let's do the same thing. There's my number. I'm going to take that. I'm going to then just pull that down and right here. Okay. Here's some common things that you'll always use when you're in text mode. So I'm just going to click on my name. I can bold it. I can put italics. So if I bold it, I'll just do that. I can change the color of my text here. So let's just make this um, red. And then here, I can, I can change the size. So it's 35, 36. You can see my name is getting bigger and bigger, and I just keep doing that. So that looks good. And, and this I like a lot. You've got all the different um, font styles you want. There's just so much here. And you have examples. I, I, I'm always frustrated when I have a, a platform that offers fonts, but then they just give you names of the font. Here you can see exactly what you're going to get. So let's just use this one for fun. Let's just do something like this. We'll do this middle heading here. And let's have a let's, let's give some people some reason to call. Arizona is calling you okay Arizona's calling you and we'll just change that to a white so it shows up see there's the white right there I just clicked on the color I clicked on white and there you go and that is it now we could put more stuff in there if you've got um, your own branded logos and stuff we could just slide those in there if you had a QR code you want to put in there 
anything is is up to you. So it's how creative you want to get. But now the last thing we want to do, here's the video, here's your trailer. We need a transition. So all we have to do is take your mouse, hold it here, just move it over ever so slowly to the left. And when you get in the middle, see what happens? It says add to transition. Just left click. And this is the transition that you can get from the video, the, the market video to your trailer. And so there's just different ways. You know, you got the slide, the circle, this, uh, this other slide, the line whip. I like this. It's called the match and move. It's pretty simple. It's just natural looking. Click that. Left. I just left click and now that's going to be my transition. Let's take a look at this thing real quick. And I don't need to see the whole thing. So when you're working in this video mode, just take your mouse. I'm not touching anything. See the little black line? Let's just hold your, click your left click, go up, it'll grab it, hold it, and then I can just, see I'm holding down the left click and it's just easy just to find a place. So I'm just going to stop it here. I don't need to listen to the whole video. I just want to see what it looks like at the end. Here we go. For you. Thanks for watching. Connect with me for more market information in your area. And there you go. Now, the only thing on this, if, uh, if we could make it longer, the only thing I did mention is how long you want that to stand. So this was at 4.7. I think usually four to six, seven seconds is usually, I don't know what the industry standard is, but just it just seems natural, like somewhere in that five to seven range, seconds. So you can you can you can change that up if you want to. But I think that's good timing and it just stops and that's pretty simple, all right? So now let's take it to the next uh, next level. Let's put video on top of this, okay? So I'm going to get rid of all this. And all I'm doing is just highlighting and pushing delete, okay? So let's spice this up a little bit. And I, I want to show you some things that you can start doing, too, because I'm in the midst of creating some of this video in my own library, and I'm doing it with my own smartphone. So let's go here. Let's go back into my uploads. OK, and now we're going to do video. So I'm going to go into video. I just downloaded these just like you would. So here, here's something I've been doing is just adding my own B-roll. And so let's just go and show you what this might look like. Again, this is something you all can do with your smartphones. All it needs a little bit of creativity and then uh, just consistency and just gr grabbing as many of these types of moment, moments and places of interest and just saving those in your computer for a time just like this. I'm gonna pull up a, a, a quick video I did. Okay, first thing you notice, it's loud. We don't want to have any kind of uh, uh, audio on these B-roll videos that we're adding. So here's all you have to do. Go to the right-hand corner. Got this little volume. Click that. And then hit the mute button. That will take care of any you know background noises, people talking, birds chirping, cars screaming by. And that's what you want. That's the first thing you should do. That's really important to do. Okay. So let's just stretch this out again. Just pull the corners, pull the corners here, hold down the left click, and there you go. All right, so there we have it. Now, I just, I clicked on the video. I left click on the video here, and then you get some, you have some options up here. I want to go to this edit part, because this, this video is 20, almost 21 seconds long. Uh, I only need a video that's between five and eight seconds max. Okay, you just want to use the, the pieces that work best for the video. So let's click, left click on it. Okay. I only want him. Okay, so he's starting to swing. So let's just start the video here because he's just looking down. And now let's go to the other end. And all I'm doing is taking my mouse. I hold down the left click and I'm just going to move it here because I don't need a lot of this stuff. Okay, I'm just going to keep moving it, moving it. See how he's just sitting there. I don't need that. And it's down to 10 seconds, down to 9, 8. Let's see. I'm going to go to about 8 seconds, 7.9. And I, I have a little bit of a, of a connection um, issue, so things are a little lagging. I apologize. Okay. That's pretty good. And how it ends right there, that's cool. All right, I can deal with that. Now, let's take a look 
and I'm just going to, you can blow this up a little bit here. I'm down here. You can make this very large. So I just want to see that a little bit more clear. Okay, the one thing I see in this video, there's some cars here. It's like if I play this, there's a bunch of cars over here. And I don't like that. So here's a tip. Go to the very edge of the video. Click on it until you get the white. See that? See it all set I go over? Now just hold down my left mouse and I'm going to drag. Basically, I'm zooming this video in. I'm going to drag it so I don't see the road on the left. And now he's positioned in the left third, which is really nice for a composition. Okay, now we're just going to play this, see what it looks like. Him swinging, bump, bump. Perfect. And how I got this, I basically was driving to work one day, saw this this group of guys playing golf, and it was perfect. And I just pulled in. And I just said, hey, I'm doing this marketing project. Would you mind if I just took a couple shots of you guys swinging the golf, golf club? And they were fun. They said, great. And it was free. So now we got that. And now we're just going to add some of the images. So we got the video, and then we'll go up here, left click, and there's my face. I don't want it that big. I'm going to go down here to my saved logos, or in your case, it will just be in your uploads. And I want to find that Sun City. I think this was in Sun City, Arizona, so I'm going to put that up there. Okay, boom. Come to you. See, all this stuff helps. You're going to provide some great marketing information. And then they're going to see this at the end and they're going to say, wow, I love this area. So um, you, you really want to create some value and then boost your brand as much and entice people to call you. So these are great. The images are great when it comes to getting people's attention. So who would want to live in a place like this? Let's use this logo because I'm going to use this in, for an example because there's another tip. So this isn't mine, but let's just say it was. I'm going to put it down here. Now, I don't want the white, okay? I want this to be transparent. So here's a tip. Just click on any image you have, any image you have. Go to Edit Photo, right in the left, right here, okay? And then click on this little box called BG Remover, Background Remover. This is a phenomenal tool. Left click, one, two, okay, two seconds, it's done. So just go back. It's up here. Just go back to the thing, and there it is. Now, it doesn't show really great on this, but it will if it's blown up. But there you go. So let's just say I was here. I'm using somebody else's, but I just I want to give you a bunch of ideas. And then maybe my mind goes down here. Call me. Oh, in there. How's that? Okay, so let's take a look. We've already got our transition thing in here. All we did was just changed it. So again, go down to Duration. Remember that here? Just go down to duration. That'll put it in this format, which is really easy. Okay, and we'll start this video and see what it looks like. You can make the best decisions for you. Thanks for watching. Connect with me for more market information in your area. Boom. Isn't that great? Okay, on the final, here it is, the final. We're going to add another B-roll video. We're going to add your audio, so you reading the script, and then we're going to add music on top of that. So it's a trifecta. So here we go. All right. So the first thing we want to do is download that audio. Because remember, if you still want to do the audio, we can do that. We'll give you the script, and it'll be the same process. Um, I think I used... Um, I think it's called Voice Memos on my, uh, it's just an app that that's, comes with my phone. I use that. I read the script for this uh, this video like I've done in the past, took that recording, emailed it to myself from my phone, and I downloaded it to my computer. And then from my computer, I downloaded it here to Canva. So we'll go to my uploads. And so I have images, I have videos, and now I have audio. And here it is. Okay, so all I'm going to do is click on this on the right. If I click over here, it just give me a preview of what it sounds like. I know what it sounds like. So I'm just going to go anywhere over here. Just left click. Bam. Just look at happened. So now I have a video track and now I have my first audio track. Hold down the left click and we're just going to hold it until it comes all the way to the end. Okay. 
And and it should, if we looked at this, at any time, if you just hold it like this as I get closer, there's a little gray line. You see how that pops up? Then I just hold my left click and just I can see where it's at. I want it to start here. So it looks like it's not it's gonna end a little shorter. So let's just see what this sounds like. I can't wait. Welcome. If this it feels like the real Phoenix area market. real estate market what? is in the doldrums, it is. Oops, what happened? <laughs> so we can't have two audios going at the same time. So I did that on purpose and that'll happen. So I'm going to click on the top left click. See how it just turned. Now I'm just looking at that track and now I go up to the volume and I want to mute that volume. I only want to hear my voice. Take that click on the mute and now let's listen to the sweet voice. <laughs> let's just listen. If it feels like the Phoenix area real estate market is in the doldrums, it is. This is Mike Stensrud with Old Republic Title and this month's real estate market update. Boom. Okay, that's good. Now, that seems a little loud to me, so here's another trick. I'm just going to click on my track, okay? I just left click, so I'm only looking at my track. I'm going to go up to the volume, and it's probably set. Yeah, it's at 100. Typically, I like it to be somewhere like you know, 45 to 50. Let's just throw something like 44. That's fine. And now we'll let's listen to my voice. Republic title and this month's real estate market update. Through the first week of March, close nice. sales okay. are, this year are down 3.6 versus last year. Compared to 2021 and 2022, sales are down I just made over that. 35%. We're seeing an increase. Okay, and, and I'm pretty well on target, my pacing. I'm, I just made it a very conversational, normal pacing in terms of my, uh, my reading of the script. So everything lined up. It, it may sometimes, if you get nervous and you're reading too fast, you might find that your voice is actually going faster or slower than the uh, graphics are showing, and you might just have to adjust that. That's something we can help you with, okay? But this is all good. Now we need to have um, a trailer. We have nothing there. We, so let's go to the trailer, my branded trailer. This is another tip you can start using your phone for, and you could do it starting tomorrow. And is this, this B-roll. So I'm going to go to my videos, and I have this already done. So I did this a couple, a couple weeks ago. So this is real. Okay. We don't want that. So I just click that right here and I'm going to go up to my volume. Remember, I don't want to have any audio in my B-roll. I just want the video. Okay. Got that. Now I'm just going to hold and just push this here so you all can see this. So, so this is my video. It just shows one of my agents and she's walking out the door. Hopefully you can see her face here and she's on the phone. That's it. So let's this this total video is 8.6. I'm going to hold my mouse right here and just catch it when she's opened the door because this, this is not. Okay, maybe right like that when she's walking out the door. And we'll go to the end of the video. I'm up here now. And I'm going to hold the left click and just slide back, slide back. This is so easy to do until a point where I think, okay, that'd be a good place to end. So now my video is only seven seconds long okay now I at the very beginning I don't like having this door so I'm going to I'm going to do this I'm gonna just focus more on her okay and see if that's better okay we'll do that perfect and now I can just start adding things in here so let's just put a few logos in here and that's it logo We'll put that in here. Remember, take that out here. Put this here. Let's go to background remover. Go to edit video. Go over here to background remover. Boom. One, two. It's done. Back to that. We'll use that. And let's put some text. Arizona is calling. Something like that. Okay. And we'll take that. And let's see if we can just put this here. And we can just change the... Let's just change the font on that we'll make this here and this here we'll just do something fun Arizona's calling we'll make it big 
Okay, so that's fun. So you can do you can do this with your uh, with your colleagues. You could get a couple of people to act as customers. Maybe you're shaking hands with them. You're giving them the keys. You're smiling, uh, or you're just walking out with a cup of coffee. It's something that just captures um, you and in the real world, really authentic. Okay, the last thing we've got the video, we've got the audio, which is you. All we have to do now is add some music. And this is where you have to pay for it. And we'll show how this is done. But uh, Canva offers uh, different audio um, cuts and music and sounds. I pay the, I think it's $15 a month. Cause I use it a lot. So it's well worth it for me. But for you, you have to make that choice. Audio is right here. Click on that. Here's all the music. Is it the largest selection? No, but it's got a lot. And I've always found something that works well with my videos. So here is some of the things you can choose. You can pick a genre or if it's happy, let's just click happy music. To preview, just click on the left. I like that. Hey, this is good. Okay, that'd be a good marketing update. So click on that. All I have to do is click over here and it will put it in. First thing I want to do is see where the music is here. Just hold down the left button and slide the whole track over. See how I'm doing that? Just slide it over. And now, because I want all these to match, I want the, 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 the video to come on at the same time my audio and the same time as the music. And if I slide this gray bar all the way down here, that's where, my, that's where I stop talking. And this is where my music is. Okay? And the last thing I want to do, I want to click on the audio. Right here, I'm still on that. Go to audio effects on top. Left click that. I don't care so much about the fade in. I can be, you know, a couple, maybe half a second. It's the fade out that makes the difference. It makes a nice natural fade out of your video. So I usually go two, two and a half, and I'll show you how that sounds. One of the things that's really important when you do this is to adjust the volume of the music. So go click on the music, go up here to the volume. It's at 100, way too high. I usually like this to be around 15 to 20. So let's do that. I don't want the music to distract. I just want to complement what I'm doing. Support. So there's 15. Okay. Now let's bring this all the way to the front. See what this sounds like at the beginning. All right, here we go. Feels like the Phoenix area real estate market is in the doldrums. It is. This is Mike Stenzer with Old Republic Title and this month's real estate market update. Perfect. That sounds good. Now let's grab it, hold on the left button, and let's go to the very end and see what this sounds like. Okay. And so let's hear me talk and end and the fade. And this will look better because it won't be this long silence after my ending. Part of town so you can make the best decisions for you. This is Mike Stenzer with Old Republic. Okay, here it comes. There you are. Okay, now you've created your video. Congratulations. We only have one final step, and that is to save and publish so you can share your video. Some of you will share it on uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram. Some may want to just save the file to their computer and then upload that to their YouTube channel. And that way they can have people linked the video from there. So I'm, there's a lot of different options. I'm going to keep this really simple. And you can do this for anything you create in Canva. So if it's a video or if it's a brochure or anything um, that you make, here's how you go about it. When you're done with your project, in this case our marketing video, we're going to go up to the upper right-hand corner. There's a button right here called Share. Okay, I'm not going to get here. This, this is a lot of if you're collaborating with teams. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to make this as simple as possible. So we're just going to go down here to download. All right. So you have download and share on social media. Share on social media is just something that makes it easier for you to post your um, content in from Canva right onto your social media sites. So I'll show how this works. Just you'll click that. You'll click this uh, Facebook page and then you'd write all this and you can publish it just like that and you're done. So you can do the same with the other social media sites. Okay, that's that's all you have to do is just click on the first time you do it. It'll set up your um, 
social media sites. Um, and then once that's done, it's a one time um, setting. And then from that point on, anytime you create anything in Canva that you want to post on social media, you just go in and click that button right here. I use the download most of the time. And I just want to download. So this is a video, but I do brochures. I do, you know, pamphlets. I do ads, um, flyers, you name it. I'm always downloading it and then to my computer and then I'm printing it for the most part. Okay, so video is a little bit different. I'm going to hit download right here. And the first thing you want to make sure is the file type is correct. Now, for some reason, this went to a PDF. It should have just recognized. I'm not sure why, but this is not a, a this is not a PDF. I want to make this an MP video, MP4 video, and there it is. You can see all these things: JPEGs, PNG. These are all different types of files. Mostly our so social media, and a lot of it's just for printing purposes. We want the video. We want to save this as a mp4 video click that and now it's changed up here okay and then you can either for streaming it's a 1080 i usually just keep it there but if you're just doing social media it's 720 that's a, that's the size of the, of the actual file either works fine it's, i just use the 1080 right here i'm not going to click this because it will take a while to download videos are, are bigger files so for the training purposes of the video, I won't do it, but we would just click download. And when it's done, boom, it'll go up here into your computer and it'll be downloaded onto your computer. You can save it to your folders that you want and then take that video. Uh, for example, if you have a YouTube channel and you want to upload it to that YouTube channel, uh, which I have, um, then I just send it over, upload it into my YouTube uh, video um, library and that way I can share my videos. I'll have a link to that video on my YouTube page and I can share that anywhere I want. Um, I can put that in a text. I can put that in an email. I can put that link on many of my social media and that will drive um, all the viewers to my uh, YouTube channel. So that's it. Um, I hope this is helpful. There's There are a number of different ways you can save, but this is the easiest, shortest way to do it. Okay, I know there's a lot of information, and um, I hope that you can just skip through to the things that you need to learn, but this is really fun stuff to do. I mean, um, creating your own videos, either by doing just the trailers or actually doing the audio or both. It's a powerful, powerful way to get your brand out there. TAU has been a great uh, value resource for so many agents, and uh, I hope you take advantage of these these videos because they are there for you. They're there to make you the expert in, in your communities uh, in terms of the real estate market and the trends. So hope you get a lot out of this, and if there's any other questions, I'll leave my contact, or you can contact your Old Republic rep as well. We're here to help you, and I hope this, uh, hope this goes a long way. So happy selling. We'll talk to you soon.